Hello, this is Kenny Moore of TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 Refresh. In this video, we'll take a look at a warning encountered when using the excellent free PDF Accessibility Checker Pack 2. And the warning is this one irregular table. And in this example, the irregularity is caused by a complex table that does not have the span attributes set correctly. The category for this warning is tables. Pack 2 will flag an irregular table as a warning, but it's often a sign that you should look for an error, one that can only be detected by human inspection. Pack 2 can't, uh, can't detect it. A given cell's header cannot be unambiguously determined. This video will present a suggestion for resolving the error on a complex table that does not have the span attributes set correctly. The video will use this example PDF, which if you would like, you're welcome to download and you can use to practice fixing the error. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded. So I can click Start, and you can see we get the cautionary yellow triangle. This PDF contains warnings, potential accessibility problems. So I'll click the Report button, and I'll drill down to the warning. If I select the warning, it shows the problem in the document. Now let me expand that out so we can see it better. And we can see that it is a complex table. A number of the cells in the table, including this top three, they span three columns. There's the top three, there's a couple in the middle, and there's one at the bottom. They all span three columns. Now, it's always best if it's practical to use a simple table. Simple tables are easier to remediate. They're easier for assistive technology users to navigate, but complex tables are a fact of life. There are many cases, uh, this table is an example, where it would be very difficult to present the information effectively without using a complex table. So I'm going to run across complex tables and uh, I need to know how to deal with them. So let me close the report view, open the screen reader preview, now let me position that and expand it out so we can see that a little better. I'll scroll down a bit. So we can see in our table, we have a number of uh, cells that should be spanning three columns. These three top cells are examples. They should be stretched all the way across the rest of the table, and they're not. They're just restricted to a single cell. There's the three on top, a couple in the middle, and this one here at the bottom. So that's the problem with the table. The, the cells are not spanning the columns correctly. In Acrobat Pro, I'm going to select the Touch Up Reading Order tool, which I have pinned to my Quick Tools toolbar. It always brings up this big dialog that, that is just always in my way. I don't like it, and I never use it. I always just close it down. Now I'm going to right-click anywhere in the table and select Table Editor. And then I'm going to select one of the cells that needs to span multiple columns. I'll just do the top one here. I can right click it, table cell properties. We can see that the column span attribute is set to one. It needs to be three. That cell spans three columns. When I click OK, it's going to give me a warning. Uh, making Changing the spanning attribute can screw up the table. This table's already screwed up. I'm trying to fix it. So yeah, that's OK. So now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to select the next cell that needs to span three columns. Then I'm going to hold down the Shift key and select all of the rest. Uh, they all need to span the same number of columns so I can set them all at once. With all of them selected, right-click Table Cell Properties, change the column span attribute again from one to three. Uh, disregard the dire warning, 
and that should do it. So as always with Acrobat Pro, I like to save as a new file name. Just in case I mess something up, I have a way to backtrack to the previous version of the file. Back in Pack 2, I'll load the remediated PDF. Click Start. And now we get the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. Let's make sure though. Let's take a look in the screen reader preview. And again, I'll expand it out so we can see things a little better. And scroll down. And now we can see that each of the cells that should span three columns, previously we were restricted to one column. It's now spanning all three columns just like it should. We have the three on top, the lunch presentation and coffee break in the middle, and closing presentation at the bottom. So this table looks good. This is Kenny Moore. Thank you for viewing this uh, tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. Please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.